Hey, good morning, everybody. It is the next morning here at the same walk-in. And I just want to get some readings today. So this one is running a little bit cold, 31 degrees. <sighs> let's see. If we, let's see. Once we go to the uh, E2, we'll see what the um, what it did overnight. Let's get a temperature reading in here. Uh, while that um, while that uh, temperature settling in, let's go ahead and do a leak check real quick inside this case. I already got the H10 warmed up, so. All we're gonna do is we're just gonna shove this guy in there and if there's a leak, it should tell us. And normally if there's a leak, this thing will automatically start going off. So let's just throw it in the return air. Nothing. But up in the supplier in the honeycomb. other one it's all the same case just a different door what's your name Keith Stone <laughs> commercials all right so we can at least say that this case is not leaking let's go ahead and shove it inside this, uh, this freezer I mean this, I'm sorry this walk-in cooler you guys we're in the cooler this cooler's running. Well, I just opened the door, so I'll give it a minute. Actually, you know what? Let me relocate this uh, further back somewhere back here. Actually, just right here. And uh, our H10 isn't going crazy. I know these H10s are pretty damn good. Every time I stick it inside a uh, freezer, cooler, or something, and there's a leak, it'll pick it up pretty quick. So, now I know that I should really get up there and get right next to the coils and all that, but this is just a uh, quick check. Uh, we'll jump on top of the box and check the evap, uh, I'm sorry, the condenser as well. So, I'm not getting any readings in here. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go up to the roof. I just want to verify the, uh, the charge. Um, it's supposed to rain today, so I want to do that before the rain comes. Guys, I shut the condensing unit down and I'm doing a leak check on all the joints, all of the uh, points where you could possibly have a leak, a leaking cap, leaking Schrader, whatever the case is. I've already gone through the entire condensing unit. Um, I haven't found anything yet. I haven't found anything here on my uh, pressure switches. That's my fan cycle. This is my low pressure and high pressure. I've already checked all these angle valves. I'm not getting anything. I already checked back there on the U-bins. I've already checked back here. So, we're gonna go ahead and uh, and go on top of the box. I know that's where the uh, other technicians have previously had uh, leaks, and they, I think both of them said it was on on a copper 90s. So uh, maybe that's just a bad copper that was used on the install. So we're, we're gonna find that out today. But. Solenoid located in plenum at roof penetration. I just took that off and. Here we are. Here's our solenoid. We're gonna see if this guy's not leaking somewhere in so, here. So this is just hand tight. Um, so I'm gonna stick my leak detector in here and see if I can't get a hit off of this or coming in from inside. So let's go ahead and do that. I already, I already got this guy nice and warmed up. See if we can one hand this. Okay, no 
nothing coming from the uh, solenoid itself. The uh, box. This is one of the uh, fixes they did last time. And then somebody else had to fix that one over there. That's why we're thinking it's bad copper. But our H10 isn't picking anything up in here. This entire place is enclosed, so we would have saturated, uh, you know, air in here, saturated with refrigerant. The only thing we can really see is uh, this is the one going to the uh, to the region, and you have a little bit of stain right there. There's no telling what it is. Leak the tip is not picking it up though. So. You don't see any oil stains down there. So, oh. no hits up here. We've already done the joints. However, those pipes do run up there. So, I'm gonna get another eight footer to go in there, but just not getting any hits. H10 died, so we go with a trusty old backup. This thing has never let me down. I know a lot of people hate it because it's only 200 bucks, but it gets the job done. All right. I don't trust this. Give me that other one, dude. <laughs> oh, what's up? All right, so we have found one of the reasons why this circuit is running horrible. This valve is completely either the screen there is plugged up or this power head probably lost its charge. One of the two. And what's up Grego? What up Grego? And then this one That valve is not plugged up, but you can see our saturation is way too low. We're freaking, um, you can hear it hissing and all of our inlet tubes are all frosted up. So I don't think that we have a restriction on that valve, but either way, we're gonna pump the entire system down, take these dryers out. These always come out, check the screens and then check superheat. So. We got a little bit of uh, work to do here in the next hour. Oh, man. Piece broke. This valve's not holding shit. So we had to pump it down right here from the king valve. And uh, we're just letting out all the gas that was in here. We pumped it down already. So we're ready to go inside and change those... Uh, gonna replace not replace remove those dryers um, check that uh, TXV screens and then we'll verify with superheat right, we got our filter replacement tubes here already switched courtesy of the uh, spin switch we got Greg over there he already uh, I already pulled this screen. The screen is completely clean. So we're still gonna pull and, this guy. Uh, we gotta check to see if this power head has any... Uh... Sorry, see if this power head didn't lose its charge. Um, Cause it was frozen solid from here. So we're gonna have to do that right now. Take these out and take the other ones out. So here's the... Uh... Cleaner from this first one. Clean as a whistle. Here it is, guys. And check this out. Almost completely plugged. Unfortunately, we didn't take a uh, Delta T across it. 
So, got Mr. Grego taking out the second one here. So I couldn't get a whole lot of video of the uh, process, but you know, we just took those dryers out. Uh, as you can see, we got all these doors open. Man, we started coughing pretty bad in there. Uh, you know, a little bit of a, uh, those valves aren't holding uh, at the, um, at these at the condensing unit so we were getting some refrigerant leaking by and then we were brazing so we were getting a little bit of phosgene gas and uh man we just started coughing like crazy so we stepped outside <coughs> as you can hear my voice we're still uh, a little woozy not gonna lie uh, be careful guys whenever you're brazing inside a walk-in so We've already aired it out for a few minutes. Um, like I said, those valves aren't holding at all at the condensing unit. Not the suction nor the liquid. So, <coughs> I'm going <coughs> to go ahead and take everything out of here. Um, we're going to go uh, and go up to the condensing unit. Uh, we already pulled the quick vacuum inside here from the condenser. Uh, I'm... Uh, yeah, I need to gather my thoughts, gents, but we already pulled a quick vacuum on here, so uh, now we're just going to go and uh, open up the valves and uh, uh, and then uh, pressure check our joints. We, we should be good. All right, she's alive. Let's take a look at the performance now. I'm gonna give it a few minutes to stabilize out, but we're looking a lot better. We're looking a lot better. Way better. What's our head? Not bad. About 183. All right, guys, we got a uh, solid column of liquid now. We had to add a lot more refrigerant to it. Only problem is that we are flooding really bad. You can see right there on the compressor, we're flooding back. So only thing we can think of is um, before us, and here we go, get off this rainy roof. Before us, people were coming by, saw maybe high superheat, and they were just cranking on those valves open. So I'm gonna go downstairs and we gotta verify superheat, but I can almost guarantee you those valves are uh, wide open. Somebody's been messing with them. Oh, I'm telling you, gents, that phosgene gas ain't no joke. It friggin' hurts. See you downstairs. Boom! <laughs> You're an asshole! <laughs>